Astana, the host of Expo 2017, is preparing full swing for the exposition. Organizers, the government, experts from the more than 100 countries will present their own visions of the future energy. Top news in the eve of mega event Astana Expo 2017. In the course of the concluding stage of preparation for Expo 2017, Kazakhstan's president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, has chaired a meeting. This meeting was attended by the organizers of the exposition, representatives of Astana Akimat, various ministries of Kazakhstan and businesses involved in the preparation process. I have just had a look at the objects that are being constructed in the area. All of them are almost complete and currently are going through the finishing stage, which involves some final arrangements and content filling. Excellent organization of the exposition will once more demonstrate the global community the achievements of independent Kazakhstan. The most important part of the preparation process for reception of guests in a summer period is the capital's preparedness on vital points, food, accommodation and entertainment. Akim of Astana, Setisikeshev, has reported on work completed so far. On the whole, the city is ready to accommodate more than 2 million tourists. There are more than 35,000 rooms available. In terms of catering stations, according to the report, we need 110,000 seats. At present, we have about 850 catering stations, providing more than 116,000 seats. Because of the huge influx of tourists to Astana, according to Akim's data, in the course of the summer months, the consumption of food in the city will grow by 20 to 30 percent. To avoid deficit and an increase in prices, the authorities have prepared a schedule of fairs involving regions of the country. A certain volume of supply via distribution networks has been established as well. Transport support at both the airport and railway terminal will be introduced according to the schedule. With the help of the government, a number of buses have been purchased, 110 of which will be provided for international delegations, and 167 of them will be supplied for seven routes of shuttle bus system. Meanwhile, the national company Expo has already presented intermediate data on ticket sales. It is planned that the number of visitors will amount to 2,300,000 tourists and 5 million visits. At present, more than 930,000 tickets have been sold. The active interest has been expressed by residents of South Kazakhstan, Karagandi, East Kazakhstan, Jambal regions and Almaty and Astana cities. The geography of ticket sales for Expo 2017 covers 44 countries. Regarding the promotion of the exposition abroad, various roadshows and press tours are being run for leading world media agencies. The information regarding the exposition is posted in leading world media outlets in cities such as Frankfurt, Amsterdam, Dubai and Moscow. Outdoor advertising has been presented on central platforms of Beijing, Paris, Vienna, Seoul, London and others. As a result, Expo 2017 was included in the list of top 52 recommended places to visit, according to one of the top news editions, New York Times. At present, the sponsorship fund has reached 38.6 billion tenge, out of which 22.8 are monetary contributions and 15.7 billion are goods and services. Right now, the national company does not only spend its money, but also earned some on its license use of Expo 2017 brand and by implementing investment projects. Moreover, the organizers of the exposition plan to repay 25 billion tenge back to the state budget. A special attention Ahmedjan Isimov has paid to post-exposition use of the objects. For instance, the corporate pavilion will become the international center for the development of green technologies under auspices of UN. In addition, there will be a techno park for IT startups to attract entrepreneurs and investors from across the world. The International Financial Center Astana will be located in the blocks C3 and C4 of international pavilions. Meanwhile, the block C1 will serve as a multifunctional exposition center.
an educational center, Job World, affiliations of which are established in the developed countries around the world, will be placed in Block C2. The center will train on various professions from an early stage. This enables children to choose their future careers paths. Here some of them are presented. Today in Seoul it trains for 97 professional fields. The biggest affiliation of such a center is located in Seoul, the biggest in the world. Thematic content filling of the exposition will be presented at the National Pavilion of Kazakhstan, Nur Alem. It includes 28 locally based projects in the field of green economy. The exposition, Kazakhstan on its way to green economy, is presented as an interactive map, which demonstrates already implemented and planned green projects. The exposition Kazakhstan Material Testing Tokamak KTM is aimed at shedding light on energy mining by a controlled thermonuclear synthesis on the model of Kazakhstan thermonuclear reactor Tokamak KTM that is being constructed in Kurchatov city. Today Tokamak KTM is a unique setup assigned for research and experimentation of material in conditions that are adequate for thermonuclear reactors. The physical launch of the setup is planned to run during the exposition's beginning. By that time, a model version of internal device of Tokamak KTM with the demonstration of plasma production will be located in the pavilion. Also, the pavilion will present 30 startups from across the world that have been selected at New Energy Global Startup Fest last year. Intercultural dialogue, education in light entertainment form and unique experience will be all present at Astana Contemporary Art Center at Expo 2017. The pavilion has two floors. On the first, the visitors will be presented with a cinema hall, a lecture hall, a workshop and expository area. In collaboration with the Museum of Contemporary Art Garage, Astana Expo will hold an educational course for young artists titled New Media. 12 молодых художников из Казахстана станут участниками этого недельного интенсива лаборатории. 12 young artists of Kazakhstan will become the participants of this week-long intensive laboratory, in terms of which they will attend lectures, seminars presented by local and foreign artists. Later, we will demonstrate a whole series of 700 documentaries at our cinema hall in the course of the exposition. These include archive movies of Garage Museum and works of young Kazakhstani directors and producers. On 22nd and 23rd of July, the Art Center will host a conference of architecture of Kazakhstani modernism. In the course of the year, the museum, in collaboration with scientists and architects from Europe, America and Russia, have researched the structure of Almaty city and will demonstrate their findings at the conference. An important note is that the whole interactive, which is planned as a part of entertainment program of the pavilion, is oriented at all kinds of audience. It is important that Garage is virtually the only museum in CIS space that is adapted for people with disabilities. It is important for us because the exposition is a space for all and its inclusivity is a part on which we put a special emphasis. Thus, all programs which will be presented at the Art Center will be adapted for people with hearing and vision impairments. The second floor will be an expository space with a big projection screen by French artist Miguel Chevalier that presents different and unique images in video art style. This screen reacts on movement and the number of people in the room. Мы 
мы делаем совместно с музеем Гранд Пале, здесь мы приготовили, конечно же, невероятный большой сюрприз. In collaboration with Grand Palais, we have prepared a big surprise. When we met with Grand Palais last year, they told us about the idea of creating presentation in 2019 at Grand Palais, which will be called Artists and Robots, at which artificial intelligence will act as an artist, and Grand Palais wanted to make such an exposition in 2019. But after some hours of negotiations, we have arranged to host this exposition at Expo. Мы смогли договориться о том, чтобы эта выставка премьерно была показана именно на Экспо. The exposition Artists and Robots complies works of 17 artists from 13 countries across the world. The robots will amaze the visitors of the art center by presenting various pieces of art. These works will be subsequently presented at the art center, which will be working on a permanent basis even after the exposition, as a part of Expo Heritage. Это дополнительная рука, которая создает какие-то произведения искусства, повторяет контур человека. Это... This is an additional hand that repeats and creates contours of a human. This is Lionel Murat, that has three robots, which paint in this interesting style. This is our star Iowa, a giant four-meter robot that creates sculptures from whole pieces of the material. And in the course of 93 days, this robot called Kuka will produce sculptures in front of the visitors of the art center. The program is oriented at the general public. The art center can accommodate up to 4,800 people per day, which means that the number of visitors in 93 days can reach 432,000 people. Friendship of People's Festival in Kazakhstan, called Kazakhstan is our common home, is annual event which has been held already for 18th time in Astana. Secretariat of Assembly of People of Kazakhstan in Astana and the city's management on culture, archives and documentation have gathered art collectives from 20 ethnocultural organizations. This year the festival is dedicated to Expo 2017. The festival's program has had an additional nomination, Close for Future Expo Life 2017. In other words, the ethnocultural organizations had to come up with and produce apparels from the materials available and demonstrate them on our defile. This demonstration appeared as a discovery for us, the organizers, as well. In the course of three days, the participants of the festival competed in the following nominations – choir, solo singing, dancing, choreography and ritual performances. Each ethnocultural organization presented its best acts in order to take part in the gala concert. We presented our performances in all nominations, such as ritual performances, vocal and instrumental ensembles with songs. This year we involved youth a lot, both college and high school students. The young generation will preserve and multiply the heritage. This is how human energy is accumulated, a direction, a theme, which is raised to attention by Expo 2017. Spiritual balance and spiritual satisfaction is one of the basics necessary for long life, for life satisfaction and for filling one's life with meaning. I believe that this energy that a human takes from culture, demonstrating his or her own talents, is something that probably makes us stronger at the end of the day. At the eve of Expo, which itself will be a unique international festival, ethnic and cultural organizations are preparing to take an active part on all concert platforms of the city this summer. Certainly. All cultural organizations will be involved in concert programs, because there will be a lot of guests and naturally we should demonstrate our culture. We should always highlight the fact that Kazakhstan is one of the most multinational countries in the world, that we have more than 140 nationalities and ethnicities living in our country, and naturally that we are a country which on its big hospitable land it preserves its own culture and traditions. 
Friendship of People Festival in Kazakhstan is a creative introduction to the annual session of Assembly of People of Kazakhstan. This year, the anniversary meeting under the theme Stability, Unity and Content, Basis of Modernization, was held by the head of the state, Nursultan Nazarbayev, for the 25th time. 